What's going on everybody? Today from start to finish I'm going to show you how to install the Mac OS 10.12 Sierra onto the ThinkPad X220. First what you want to do is uh, open up the App Store then download the uh, Mac OS. Once you get to here just click uh, download. Mine says install because I already downloaded it. Once that's done downloading you can verify by opening up the launch pad and you should see an icon here install Mac OS here and then we can proceed you're going to need at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive and plug it in then you're gonna open up this utility and format the uh, flash drive once you get to this screen select your flash drive and click on erase and name the drive USB and then click on erase now for some reason mine failed the first time uh, just click OK and then try it again you're gonna see here in a second Once it's done, the drive is going to show up on your desktop. And now it is time to go copy this terminal command, which I will put in the description. But I'm also going to show you where to get it. Um, go to Safari and search for X220 McDonald Tech. Once you get to the site, skip to step 7 and highlight the terminal command and copy it which is right here then launch terminal and then paste the command just right click paste and enter and type in the administrative password which is your password to log into the computer. Now this process is going to take 30 minutes to like 50 minutes so you're going to have to wait for a while. While you're waiting for it to get done just go back to McDonald Tech's website and download the uh, zip file right here which is on step 10. Once you're done, just uh, open up Finder and drag it to the desktop so it's easier to work with. Now here's the tricky part. The Clover Configurator that's included in this folder, that's their new version. Uh, you don't want that. You want the older one. I'm going to show you right here. If you right click on the Clover Configurator, and go to view uh, info or get info you're gonna see that this is version 4.38 you don't want that um, you have to find version 4.32.1 or that's the one that I know that works so here's a copy of version 4.32 that I have on my desktop and I'm gonna replace it uh, I'm going to delete the new one, 4.38, and put 4.32 in there. Now just close everything out to get it out of the way. And open up the USB. And you're going to copy the folder that you just created in there. Now run Clover Configurator, uh, double click on the folder, right click on it, and select open. Remember this is it's going to ask you to mount EFI partition, click OK. And once you get here, just click on check. 
what you want to do here is look for your flash drive in my case is disk 2 it says right there external uh, you're going to then click on mount EFI partition and then it's going to ask you which disk is it so you're going to select disk 2 It's going to ask you for your user password. Type in your the password that you use to log into the computer. And OK. And after you're done, the EFI partition should show up on your desktop. If not, you can open up Finder and navigate straight to it, where it say EFI. From here, you can copy the EFI folder into this partition. Just drag and drop over, or you can just you know, copy and paste. Once it's copied over, you are done. We're going to restart the computer, uh, reset the BIOS to a factory default first, and then install the uh, operating system. Now to get to the BIOS, you want to press and hold F1 while the computer is turned on. Once you're in the BIOS, go to the last tab and select Low Setup Default. Hit Yes. And then go back to Startup. Um, change the UFI to UFI only. I haven't tried any other way, but that's how it works for me. And then save, exit save and changes. Now with the flash drive plugged in, press and hold F12 while it's booting up, and then select your flash drive. Once you're here, select boot in from the USB, which is the icon with the yellow USB flash drive looking thing. Just give it some time to load here. It might take a little bit. All right, you're going to see this screen. Don't freak out, it's uh, completely normal. Just give it some time, it'll load. Once you are at this screen, you're going to select this utility and we're going to format the hard drive. Remember this is the hard drive you're going to format not the USB drive. So look under internal and select your hard drive and then click on erase. Uh, you can name the hard drive whatever you want or just leave it. Once it's done, click OK, close the window to get back to the main menu, and then we're going to choose Install Mac OS. Here, just keep on clicking Next, or unless you want to read through all of it. Uh, select your hard drive, and then wait you're gonna be stuck at this screen for like the next hour so ignore whatever time that I gave you down there about seven minutes remaining 
what they really mean is about 70 minutes. So if you wait an eternity later, it's going to get done installing and it will restart your computer automatically. Uh, first thing you're going to see is the bootloader. Um, it's going to ask you which you want to boot. You're going to select the hard drive. Again, you have to wait here for another 15 minutes for it to set up before you can get to the uh, user creation screen, the welcome screen and all that. And we're finally here. Select your country, keyboard layout, location services. Here you're going to select your keyboard layout, ignore transfer information, enable location services if you want and you're gonna skip sign in with your Apple ID it's not gonna work yet uh, create your account username and password and then we are in the first thing it's going to ask you is what's going on with the keyboard so just follow the instruction right there uh, it's going to ask you what's the key next to the shift keys and just type it in click OK Now we're going to make the hard drive bootable. So go back to X220 McDonald Tech and skip to step 24. We're going to copy this terminal command. Go to step 24. Just highlight it, right click copy, and then we're going to open up terminal and paste it. Now when you paste it into the terminal, it's going to ask you for the user password again. That's the password you just created when you create your user account. Hit enter and type in your password. And that's it. Now open up your flash drive. I like to make a copy of this folder to my desktop. You don't have to. But uh, now we're going to open up uh, Clover. I just right click open. and choose mount EFI partition now you're going to hit check partition and you're going to look for your hard drive this time you're going to look for your internal hard drive not the flash drive in my case it's this zero so that's the 120 gigabyte hard drive right there and click on mount EFI partition and it's going to ask you which drive select this zero and then click OK. Type in your user password. And you can exit out of Clover once you're done.
you should now see the EFI partition showing up right here or you can just uh, open up finder and go to EFI that's your EFI partition on the hard drive there should be a single folder in there called Apple and you're gonna copy these two extra folders in there Clover and Boot after you copy the two folders over that's the last thing that you have to do I almost forgot but uh, you gotta run the script to install the drivers so here it is just navigate to this folder go to the EFI Clover uh, Kex and then right click and open click OK and type in your user password this is going to install all the drivers uh, for the ThinkPad and then you are done the computer should be able to boot by itself have all the drivers um, the next step would be getting iMessage um, and FaceTime and voice time to work but I will create a video separately for that but uh, enjoy